Yo, what is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and today in this video I'm going to be showing you the Siberia OS Fan Edition or you can call the unofficial edition built by Rashid and I have to say the ROM is really good even right now and it was one of my most favorite ROMs if you have been following me you guys should know that this ROM is one of my favorite ROMs like since till date so I have been using this build like for a couple of days now and I have to say the ROM feels still a lot smooth and everything just works and I'm gonna tell you that what are the things I miss or what are the things which are really good over here so let's just begin the video first of all as you can see we have the stock camera over here as the Mi a camera by default and you can install Google camera if you want to I did and you have the camera to API by default so you don't need to worry about like flashing camera to API zips or stuff camera to API is pre-enabled on this ROM now let's talk about the stock launcher here the stock launcher present by default over here is the launcher launcher it's not the quick step launcher anymore and over here I have been like getting some kind of glitches while like double tapping to sleep yes double tap to sleep does work as you just saw but with like I have started the CRT animation as you can see but with the fade animation I see kind of glitches and let me show you the launcher launcher setting this is how the settings panel looks like of the launcher launcher and if you go to gestures here if you set the double tap to like sleep do not use this sleep using screen timeout just use this sleep so that it can work better and you have to force stop the app kind of like for once to like use these kind of double tap to sleep features but it does work as you can see but I have to say the quick step launcher was a bit better in my opinion but this launcher launcher has too many customizations and of course you have the Google now cards to the left over here and you can swipe down anywhere on the home screen to get the quick settings panel I'm not saying this launcher is bad but this is a pretty good choice but quick step was a lot more stable with less features in my opinion and over here if you talk about the customizations well we have everything we have the double tap to sleep on the status bar you can adjust the brightness just by sliding on the status bar so that feature is really cool and i use it we have the toggle power button torch when the screen is locked that feature works too we have a lot of customizations you can even customize this quick toggle panel over here as you can see i did change these kind of stuff but over here one feature that i miss is you can't use the fingerprint scanner like fingerprint unlock always like if you reboot the phone you have to enter the pin once i did not find the settings of the like fingerprint scanner unlock like always it's just me maybe but i don't know if they removed it that feature was there i guess but not really sure inside lock screen if you gonna go inside lock screen you're gonna see the fingerprint authentication vibration error vibration and lock screen charging info and that's pretty much it and the weather stuff is there it does show up the weather you have to set up like you have to set up the weather and inside security if you go inside security inside lock screen preference and stuff you're gonna get the automatic unlock device with face so face unlock does work but make sure you flash the g apps twice like when you are flashing the rom flash the rom file and the g apps file i flashed micro g apps and if you reboot the phone you are not gonna see the face recognition stuff inside smart lock so for that you have to go back to recovery again after you set up the rom and then you have to flash the g apps again and the fingerprint scanner speed and stuff let me show you the fingerprint scanner speed quickly here as you can see the fingerprint scanner speed is not bad it's it unlocks the phone pretty fast over here i have no complaints regarding that inside display settings if you go there you will see some stuff like the font manager over here as you can see we can change the fonts from these many options we have plethora of options google sends and stuff are present and you can change the system ui theme to light dark black siberia etc accent colors you can change them of course and you can change the switch appearance too and you can even change the quick setting toggle styles so these are pretty cool options over here in my opinion and you do have the double tap to wake too and faulty and stuff does work and you even get the call recording option so you don't need to worry in terms of battery life i'm getting around seven plus hours of screen on time with my usage so battery life is pretty decent i do not have any kind of huge complaints regarding the battery life let me show you the about section quickly well we do not have any kind of system updater over here of course and if you go into android version here you will see the siberia os logo on top version is 2.3 right now and the security patch is february 5th 2019 
and the stock kernel over here is pure cfr 4.1 plus kernel by default over here and let me go back if you go into system you're not going to see any kind of like what i said the system updates option so that's how it is inside gestures you're going to get the swipe up home button like you can swipe all the way up to get the app drawer or you can just swipe up once to get the recent panel and let me quickly show you the sound settings over here let's go to settings and then sound and if you go to the bottom you will have these kind of like lot of customizations like we have dial pad tones screen locking sound charging sound touch sound and even screenshot sound disabling option the haptic feedback vibration is there but you can't really control the vibration like the intensity of it and we do have the me audio direct and it does work super fine and you have these many options for the preset over here you can choose the preset to be rock jazz pop classical etc and you can even choose the headphone type you are using i'm using the youth edition and with this the sound output is really really great via the headphone jack i have to say this is one of the most amazing sound output i'm getting over here and as you can see we have a lot of options like the me earbuds in ear me pistons one general general in ear basic edition like a lot of like me headphones options are present over here you can choose from all of these with like for different kind of music output so this is like a pretty great feature in my opinion let me just go back and if you go into siberia settings here are all the customizations present and inside system and stuff you get a lot of stuff like the general tweaks and you can change the screen of animation as i told you and you can change the recent option to pi or audio style all the customizations almost are present as it used to if you have watched my previous videos you guys should know and you can change the holy y animation then you have button customizations you have the long press power button torch of course and power menu advanced reboot and stuff is there and you can control the other buttons too and disable the keys somehow and over here we have the privacy guard and stuff and wake lock blocker alarm blocker standby apps we have the sound settings from here you can change or activate this ring notification etc volume stuff in the volume panel over here as you can see so these features are there let me go back inside dialer you have the in call vibration enabling option like vibrate on connect call vibrate on call waiting vibrate on disconnect etc stuff you even have this flash on like incoming call so these kind of options are there inside panels we have the status bar items and stuff over here as you can see you can enable the headset bluetooth etc icon the siberia logo stays by default turned on so i did turn it off and notification ticker we have that brightness control clock settings network traffic indicator volte icon the volte icon shows as hd icon by the way and inside navigation panel we have the nav bar the normal nav bar and you can change this to like smart bar or fling and you can change the height and stuff you have the pixel animation as you can see it does the pixel kind of animation over here so you have this option to turn on and off and you have the pulse option too for the navigation bar so pretty much a lot of customizations and you even have the full screen gestures too inside gestures here you can see we have the edge gestures over here if you want to enable the gesture and use it that way you can do that pretty much and we have the navigation gestures to like the normal full screen gesture and double tap to sleep and double tap to sleep on the lock screen and the status bar both works swipe to take screenshot works too as you just saw and battery settings we have the battery charging light or the like notification led with battery and inside battery icon we get the big dotted circle over here which we do not get in most rom so that's what i like about this rom i get a lot of stuff which i need and it's pretty convenient rom for me at least and what else we have the lock screen i have showed you the lock screen you can change the clock font size and stuff like everywhere over here and even the lock screen so these are pretty cool options and google pay well google pay does work by default over here you don't need to worry about like doing any kind of tweaks so google pay just works super fine let me open some of the apps and show you guys the app open up speeds and the ram management of this rom and if you are noticing when i go to home this does like some cool kind of animation over here as you can see so android pie has these kind of animations but i think this launcher launcher does do these kind of like cool animations a little bit more while like closing the app or like minimizing the app so i really like these things let me open some more apps let's open all the apps from memory now all right so i did not open youtube earlier i guess
So this is the 4GB RAM variant of the Redmi Note 5 Pro and as you can see we have all the apps in memory so we don't need to worry at all regarding the memory management of this ROM. As you can see most of the apps are in memory so we have to like not worry about the memory management in this ROM. And in my opinion this ROM is working pretty greatly over here and you can definitely flash this ROM if you want to. Links down below in the description and you have to flash micro g apps two times if you want to get the face unlock so in my opinion this rom feels really great and you can play pubg and stuff pretty much in hd settings so you don't need to worry and to score is around same like 1 lakh 14 thousand and so that is pretty much it guys thank you so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is tito from kta and dick signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now